Well, hey, <laughs> enough yapping. Yeah. Let's get right into it. Space Maker Rally, final series of the day. Take it away. Uh, Hootie, you bring up a good point, though. I mean, if we look back even to open qualifier number six, Shopify made it to the grand finals against G2. This is a team that, with just sample size being the last couple of weeks of RLCS and moving into this quote unquote mid off season, they have looked excellent, Corelli. And I think that this is a squad that will, if they choose to stick together, will surprise many people going into next season. But Arsenal, who has been picking up his individual mechanics throughout the majority of this year, with the addition of Zanil, has felt like this offense finally has the ticket it needs to punch themselves deeper into brackets. This is a very fun matchup to watch. Hey, oh, it, I think this is going to be a great matchup and maybe uh, much better than the matchup we got in RLCS with these guys. And okay, well, why would hey, you say that? Uh, hey, that's not my fault. <laughs> that's Shopify's fault. Okay. okay? Yeah. Uh, it's always, it's just, it, it, it's only you and me, man. <laughs> it's all it's great though i like where we're at with right now with shopify and dick listen if you're just joining us you're into the last match of the night all best of fives here on the mainstream three matches per day for each team we play two days of action tomorrow same situation seven eastern will be kicking off the action here on the mainstream but for dig coming into this right a lot of high hopes for zinio a lot of pressure on arsenal to kind of step up and perform but what is it about shopify outside of memories play style last week. What is it about Shopify for those who may be newer to this team who haven't been paying attention that people should know? Well, you have a really fun dynamic duo in part the two-piece. You've seen master classes from them offensively um, throughout their tenure in RLCS, even before they were on, you know, a big name like uh, Rebellion here. And then you got someone like Justin, who's been around the block. He's won a world championship. He's played in multiple world finals. Lots of experience. You know, obviously, the, the reckoning of the NRG, the old NRG squad, you know, he's a piece of that team that's still here in the league. And he's certainly slotted quite well into what Parth and Two-Piece had going. And really what I think it presents is a triple threat from Shopify Rebellion. Now that triple threat doesn't always seem to be apparent, but when it does happen, which is pretty consistently, mm. Shopify Rebellion, they are a very, very tough team to beat or and at least to outmaneuver when it comes to their offense. They are definitely one of the teams in NA that I feel like a lot of fans, if not a lot of the middle pack teams, tend to sleep on. And then they get shocked by being woken up quickly by how good the offense can be. It's just, it is a, a squad that one, you don't want to underestimate. And two, I think the amount of experience really plays into their hands a lot of times, Corelli. A lot of people talk about pulling a veteran onto a roster and how that can help. It does to an extent, but sometimes the veterans don't do much. This is a very different situation. We're going to quick get a quick pause. Make sure the players are okay. But this has been a different situation where it feels like Justin just looks comfortable again. And that had been maybe the biggest criticism of the old energy roster was nobody looks comfortable anymore. Different situation here. Shopify, a very exciting young squad to watch in NA. And I hope they stay together. We'll keep you updated. I think Evo is having some ping issues. Regardless, it's going to be like a 1-0 lead for Dig. We'll get reset. Uh, but let's keep talking about Shopify while we have them. Um, I, how are you feeling about them potentially into next season do you think they're going to stick together would you like to see them stick together what are your thoughts i i don't think you could say that for certain for really any team you know you're not even at the end of the season right now so teams are going to you know be looking for more players as soon as or looking at players as soon as the season does officially end usually you have major teams major teams that eventually do make some changes um, once you actually get to the official off season although it's you know for the majority of teams it certainly has started uh but in the context of shift summer league you know uh, Shopify Rebellion, I'm just looking over at the standings right now. They're sitting five and three right now, plus one in game differential. They're, they're sitting at number six in the league, which is the bottom of the cutoff for the playoffs, right under G2 and right above incorrect. It's very competitive at the top of league play right now, right? Like you have Space Station at six and two, RMC at six and two, and then you have one, two, three, four teams sitting at five and three. So they're kind of tied with Dignitas, um, Shopify is. So this is a big matchup. And again, What's kind of fun is, you know, every week that funnel in league play gets smaller and smaller, right? You kind of really separate the pack because they're forced to play against each other. That's what this type of game is, is uh, a match where they're, you know, uh, there's a difference between these two teams and it'll matter down the line for league play. Folks, remember that if you are interested in all information about this shift league, you can find more information available both here on the Twitch channel and down below in the description of this Twitch channel. There is a link to the Reddit, the excuse me, the Discord, the, the uh, Shift website, uh, the, our, our Twitter page for here for Shift. So make sure you both 
follow all the available channels to keep up to date with not only this Shift Summer League, but what Shift will be potentially doing in the future with more Rocket League events. So keep an eye out. We'll also have mods pushing around the brackets. You can do uh, the uh, SSL North American League play bracket over on Liquipedia. Um, this is uh, not only a great opportunity for all the teams currently fighting for their potential world, champ world championship moments in Worlds in a month's time to get some extra reps in, but also for teams that are not going to Worlds to get good quality Rocket League in during this quote-unquote mid-off season. However, we're making sure that we get uh, all the live info ready to go. I believe we're almost ready. But uh, Corelli, I mean, we already started off with uh, a Dignitas goal. I would be surprised if one of our matches today does not go five. At this rate, however, very excited to see these two teams go head-to-head. -head. I think one of the nice things about this specific tournament has been how many different times it feels like we, you know, we get a matchup that we feel, at least on the analyst desk, is pretty parallel. We think at times, okay, this could be a pretty even score across the board. And it's kind of lived up to that hype. We haven't really had too many blowouts, and I don't think it's going to be the same thing here. No, certainly not. I think this one's going to trade blows uh, for sure. I, I don't know if, uh, you know, we, we only got less than a minute of gameplay here. So it's tough to say one way or another, you know, the advantage, of course, the kickoff goal for Dignitas. Uh, certainly helps, uh, but, you know, we, we didn't get to see the full context of that game. But as I was mentioning earlier, definitely a matchup that matters a lot for both of these teams, as these are teams that are fighting and or are sitting in top six right now. But, you know, when you look at it, like when you zoom out from the rest of the league, you still have OG who's sitting eight. Pirates on a boat, you know, they're sitting at two and six, but they're a feisty team as well. You got the Young Guns in fun sitting at one and seven. I think that's to be expected, uh, but... They're also a very difficult team to get by as well. And so that's what's made, I think, uh, the NA side of the Shift Summer League really, really fun to watch because uh, this has not been, uh, this is not an easy league play by any stretch of the imagination. No, not at all. And if anything, it's really felt like this is maybe some of the best competitive league play Rocket League we've had in a long, long time. And granted, you know, we're only doing a couple of matches here uh, per day, but it's kind of impressive how every team's not only shown up, uh, we're getting, at least on the North American side of things, just like, it feels like it's just RLCS week back. It just feels like we're kind of back watching some uh, auxiliary Rocket League, which is always great. Again, all the players, I believe, are in the lobby. And with that, we should be jumping into game one in just a moment. We will keep you updated with what the score will be looking like if we get an update from the admins. If not, we'll just let you know what happens on screen. However, uh, Corelli, one more series to go here tonight. All games today have gone to five. We've seen the best of the best play. And I always like when we kind of start with, we start with the heavy hitters in NA, we start with like the G2s, the Gen Gs, the SSGs, but now we also see like the future of NA's Rocket League, kind of that mid-pack here. We see the Shopify's, we see the Dignitas's, and like the conversation we had earlier today about teams still showing up and putting on their best performance, we are seeing how close these games are, whether or not you qualified from the open qualifiers or you got invited into this tournament, everybody is playing some of their best Rocket League and they're all contending against, against one another down to the wire in every single game. I like that it has not been blowouts to reiterate that dead horse I've just <laughs> beaten that point into, but it does, it's nice to see the, like, the mid pack of NA be as strong and as competitive as it's been in this tournament. I hope that's a good sign of things to come for next season. But after all of that Yapathon, we apologize for the inconvenience. We're ready to get into game number one. Yeah. We will get it reset. You apologize. Let's, okay, me. no, I don't wanna hear it, buddy. All right, let's get into game <laughs> it's number your one. your fault. You know, shut up. Five minutes to go on the clock. Let's get it going. Uh, never mind. So, Corelli, uh, how's your day going, man? How's, uh, how's See, things on your end? This is a classic example of when a caster, he has held up the broadcast sure. so that he can just yap the whole yeah, time. Yeah, that's right. It's you. I start Everyone, the game, by the way. That's right. You control yeah. everything, and it's your fault. Okay. I'm just speaking for the chat right now. Oh, You're okay. Thank you. Time. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, listen, we've been here many, many, many times. I believe the players are all giving the thumbs up. We're on pausing. We're almost in. Three minutes, 18 seconds on the clock. Again, the lead will be back for Dignitas. We pick up where we left off, folks. Dignitas with a 1-0 lead. And we're back into game one. So if you forgot, Dignitas just got a kickoff goal right off the first kickoff. So that's why Dignitas sitting at 1-0. And we really didn't get to see too much from Shopify. As Justin, well, oh my gosh, Justin. Oh my lord. You were saying? Well, we have seen enough. I've seen enough. Put it off. This is disgusting. Look at this delayed reset, man. Bait him in with bated breath. And then drop the guillotine on him. That's my world champion right there. Side up. Justin? Nope. Not going to happen for two. Already off the reset. Shopify finding some success. 
Great start for Shopify. And for Dignitas, now they got to show their teeth a little bit. They got that kickoff goal early on, but can they put together something as a team? Evo, that's a great little touch. And Zanil got to there first, beat out Justin, followed from <gasps> Arsenal. It's beautiful from Dignitas. They're just faster. They're just in sync. Zanil wins it. The first touch right over the defender. Arsenal, right place, right time. It's this synchronicity that Dignitas have achieved with the pickup of Zanil that is very different from prior iterations and why they're so fun to watch. That's the speed that you worry about from Dignitas, and it's not like Shopify Rebellion doesn't have that either. But they have yet to show it. Now Parth, a little bit of space in front of them, and Rebellion trying to get their offense going. Threatening shot. Justin played it near post. Right back out into the blue corner is Anil. Gonna grab everything. Fakes one. Tries to bully his way forward, but Justin too smart for it. And Shopify get back out on the counter attack. Justin over one. Can't beat Arsenal. That's okay. Parth is ready for the challenge. Taken by two peaks. And stabilizing. Reset. This makes it interesting. Justin able to contend with this possession. Steals the corner boost as well. So there should be plenty of opportunities here for Shopify. Parth dangerous from that position. The defense putting a hand up well here against Shopify's offense and weathering the storm, forcing them to go back. Now Zanil Ooh. buying a little bit of space as the last man at par, very lackadaisical letting Zanil after that ball. Not something that you can afford. Zanil very crafty in that position and a very dangerous opportunity. Nice recognition by Justin. Slightest touch around Arsenal. Still controls the midfield line here. Dig able to escape through the pressure. A couple of times where it looked like Zaniel is bullied two piece away from the corner grab, but finally the boys in blue do get some oh. resources. And I'm going to say that this was a great shot from Evo, but I think it was more of just a defensive mislap. Yeah, well, Justin has zero boost here, so he's trying to figure out which way this ball is going to go. Any side flips coming off the wall. I mean, he didn't have boost, so it's very tough for him to actually get out there and make a save. He was trying to, I think, uh, flip into it and kind of carry his momentum across the line. But unfortunately, with literally zero with the tank, he can't do much. And a well-placed shot means a two-goal lead for Dig. Got plenty of time still to make it interesting. It would take a goal in about the next 10, 15 seconds to really feel like game one's more viable. Interesting shot by Parth. Did not get the power behind it he wants. He was trying to sneak it behind both defenders. I like the idea, just not the execution. 30 seconds to go. Parth can't hit the bounce. Evo can. Back into the hands of Shopify. Two-piece keeping it on the ground. It's going to flip it to Justin. Cut away quickly. Arsenal way too fast at the midfield. And right now, a bit predictable from Shopify. Dignitas not having a lot of problems dealing with this. Yeah, I think that's a great word to use. It is really predictable from Rebellion. Despite them spending a lot of time here on the Dignitas side, just feels like they're not creative enough to break the defense. Five saves coming out from Dignitas, you know, might point to some quality defense or maybe some lackluster shots, but regardless, Dignitas executed at a higher level here, converting more of their chances and coming out on top here in game one. Pretty steady game one after the reset. Before the reset, Dig opened up proceedings with a quick kickoff goal, but since then, both teams had opportunities. Both looked pretty comfortable at times. You get a waning effort in the end by Shopify. Dignitas more than happy to slow the game down to the crawl and just keep poking the ball free. They do a nice job. 3-1 in game one. Dignitas take the series lead. Only game one if you're just joining us. Last series of the night. But uh, Corelli, I think much more even across the board. Maybe the most even game we have seen outside of like game one of, of RMC and SSG. This was just both teams kind of getting their looks. Dignitas looked like they obviously converted some of their chances downfield better. 3-1 into game two. Not really too much to take away from Shopify. I mean, listen, it wasn't the worst game in the world. You probably don't want to give up a, you know, early kickoff goal on the first kickoff. That definitely hurts. But yes, the good news is, is that you are, you know, gaining a lot of ground on Dignitas when it comes to possession, right? And where the game's being played. Yeah. A lot of it was on the Dignitas defensive third. And for Shopify, I think that's a good thing. You, you want to have those opportunities. You want to be spending time in your attacking third. Um, and they just didn't get it. They didn't get it to drop. Locked and loaded for game two. 
Could you do Dignitas go up 2-0 in the series? Do Shopify. Stop the bleeding here and tie us up. Would love to see it. But those midfield challenges from Zanil and Arsenal have been the Achilles heel of Shopify. Almost snuck it through. Justin will get it to par fairly. Evo, with barely half a tank, still staying involved. And Justin on the ground, what can he do with it? Not much. Big Toss doing better here, but not holding on to possession. I mean, they, this is a team that I think does want to kind of sprint downhill if they can get there. And right now, they are tumbling down it because Parth raining down a shot one for one. And Rebellion strikes first. Uh, it was a good effort by Zanil. He really tried to do all he could, but actually helped set up the follow-up touch. Parth able to punch it through. 1-0 lead for Shopify. They grabbed their first lead in the series. And Arsenal was trying to play headhunter. Looks pretty interesting off the kickoff, but neither team really getting the control they wanted and back into the corner. Rebellion trying to find that same Ooh. posturing that they had. And even on the double commit, they're going to come out with a goal 2-0 for Rebellion. And where did Dignitas go? Nobody could put a hand up for this one. Zanil was there, but I mean, that was way too far behind the play. And Rebellion able to double up quickly. Shopify send the house on the possession. It actually works out. Little pass, little opportunity, little window where things are successful. Quick to a lead, very quickly. Arsenal through the corner. Evo helping off the back wall. Arsenal just trying to body block, and that one will not roll through, but it will be dangerous enough to allow two piece to keep the play moving into oh, the pitiful. midfield. Everybody committed, and I don't think Dignitas got the touch that they were looking for. Oh, that was a free shot for Arsenal. Rebellion crept up a little bit too far into their own offense and Arsenal had a free shot across the field and maybe I think rushed it just a bit. That was a big opportunity. Now Arsenal, that one's going to go wide. Another pass across the box. That one's too high. So Dignitas getting some setup yeah. but just missing the mark. Oh, it's open. Oh, Arsenal tried really, really quickly to jump out of the lane, get a bump onto two-piece. Maybe that one rolls through, but Right now, Dignitas doing a very nice job of immediately challenging the player grabbing possession on the backboard, not allowing them to rotate out for boost. However, they give up the counterattack look, and right down the other side, it's Justin to make it 3-0. All that pressure for nothing as Shopify quickly get one back. And that was the easiest backboard touch of Justin's life. When you see Evo go deep into his net for an in-and-out save, it's just not going to happen when you have that big of a wind-up from Justin. He could pick his spot, and he went to the far side. He knew Evo couldn't get there. 3-0 for Rebellion, and this one's opened up. I mean, Dignitas worked so hard upfield just to get a couple of decent looks, but Shopify wastes no time on the counterattack. They get one. Add on to their current score. 3-0 at the moment. Two-piece chasing Evo. Hard. Not going to happen. Here comes Anil. Got to wow. score here. You feel like if you're dig, you got to capitalize on this counterattack. The reset doesn't do it. The dead center rip doesn't do it. Zanil crossbar, oh, tries to it. sneak it under. Two-piece still gets out. Oh, my out. God. What a save from Two-piece. Stumbling and tumbling in his own net and making it work on the in-and-out save. And now a 3-0 lead for Rebellion, and it's going to stay that way for Dignitas. They have not been able to break through, even after some great offense and fielding a shot off their own backboard. Dangerous for Dignitas. They got no boost to challenge this one. Justin actually misses. Everybody's missing. That was basically a free counterattack opportunity there for Shopify. Dig couldn't handle it. Evo. Back wall. Gives it back. Justin has everything he needs to make this interesting. Justin tried to sneak it under Arsenal. Better save. Here comes Parth. Immediate challenge blocked away. A minute 35. That ball just hung up on the ceiling. I expected that to at least be at the midfield a little bit quickly. More quickly. But still, every time Dig try to break out, they're just getting beat off the touch. You've got time. I mean, yes, you're down by three. It's unlikely here, but you do still have enough time to make it happen. If you look at the shooting department, it's six shots from Dignitas. Not the worst stat in the world, but it's certainly not the best when you're sitting at zero oh, goals. Man. And now two-piece has a net to shoot on, and he will pop it up over Evo. 4-0 for Rebellion, and it's safe to say that's all she wrote. Now run this back. Look at Justin's setup. That's disgusting. I mean, again, just having synergy in transition is the difference between a team like Shopify and a team like Dig at the moment. 4 nothing. 
a blowout in game two. Yeah, for Dignitas, oh, I mean, this is a game where you gave Rebellion too much. Evo sitting at 84 points four minutes into this game. And despite a couple of decent chances and decent looks for Dignitas, obviously they weren't able to convert. You're letting Rebellion in for free. The backboard's been dented by the ball hitting it so many times for Rebellion. Dignitas have got to clean up their defense. Massive center. Parth, pick your spot. 5 nothing. Shopify are not slowing down. I mean, what do you do? Right? You just take a hard challenge from two-piece. You knew, you knew that one was going to come out in a fortunate position for Rebellion. Everyone from Dignitas has pushed so far back. You take a challenge like that, it only has to go to your teammates. And with 30 seconds left, it really doesn't matter. We can cut it up as much as we want. It's a five-goal lead. It's a four-goal lead. <laughs> and Tignitas, despite getting one here, isn't going to help them. Chat, it's B-E-Y-E-S-T if you want to get it right. Zanil from the elbow. Cuts the lead to four. Chris Paul. It cuts the lead to 34. <laughs> yeah. 24 seconds That's to it. go, baby. Yeah, it's a, it's a big deal for, uh -oh. for Rebellion here. I think that they've done much oh. better in this game when you look at the previous offensively. Controlling a lot more of the pace. I think the challenge game has gone in their favor at a much higher level. And I just don't think that Dignitas have been able to pick out the right shot. This is another good one. They isolate the defender. But it's just too little, too late. Five seconds left, you're down by three, no way. Still just one for the road. Something good, some momentum to go into game two, uh, game three, excuse me. However, Shopify, a really commanding presence in this game too, and it cannot be overlooked on both sides of the field. I mean, how many different looks were Dignitas throwing at the net? Shopify dealt with the pressure, pulled it out to the midfield, and they wasted no time on the counterattack scoring. They just knew exactly where they wanted to go, how they wanted to execute offensively, all credit to Shopify. They look fantastic in game two and look prime to keep the momentum moving into game three. But Dig do pull it back in the end. They do start to get some positive some positive uh, looks at the net, convert on a couple. Zanil able to find two. But it was just, again, like kind of like that Gen G2 series. This was just pure domination by Shopify. Yeah, and I mean, you, you look at the shooting department between Parth and Justin, five shots apiece, three more tacked on for two piece, 13 in total. That's the type of like three prong, two prong type of attack that you're going to get from Rebellion. They have players that can synergize off each other really, really well, and they consistently are able to pull that off. That's kind of what makes this roster so exciting is that all three of these guys are a very, very sharp pointy edge uh, yep. for an offense. And not every team has that. You know, a lot of teams you'll, you can kind of point to a guy that's going to be more of that traditional third man type of role, more of your maybe mechanical type player or if you're a midfielder, game sense type guy, whatever people are using these days to describe a player like that. But, you know, in Shopify, it feels like when you envision all these three players in your head, you're kind of looking at a team that's, no matter who you put at the front, uh, that that is your sharpest blade. W Raid from Gen G, apparently Jack and Hansa Pro. Let's go. We appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for joining us and for participating. Shout out to apparently Jack for playing phenomenal today. Escaped a series against G2. Jack, that own goal was not your fault. It was just funny to watch. Here we go. In the game number three. Five minutes on the clock. Let's keep it moving. Shopify versus Dignitas. If you're just joining us, welcome into the final match here on the mainstream. Evo tried to sneak it under, but Shopify yet again defensively are just too strong. Dignitas, the, the key to this game is they've got to find higher quality chances. That might mean using each other a little bit more as well. There's been a lot of solo attempts and counterattacks. It might mean a little bit more of a structured offense coming out from Dignitas if they're going to take down Rebellion and sl at least slow them down offensively. I mean, that's been at the top of the ticket for things to do in this game is slow down Shopify, off Shopify offensively. Not going to happen here. Not <laughs> going to happen this time. You will get a demo, but it's not going to make it hurt any less. Yeah, it's not happening here. And I mean, this is just a monster clear and challenge from Justin. And that one opened up quite nicely for the man downfield. Perfectly placed. And Justin gets the assist. One for one for two piece. And Rebellion opens up the scoring first. A little pirouette from Parth. Plays the bounce. Arsenal. Haven't said his name too many times in this series. 
Interesting. Everybody's missing. Hold on, it's open. Zeno, get out of the way. Tie game. And this is good for Dignitas. I mean, this is what we're talking about when we say you got to get involved in the game. You've got to convert your chances. Everyone missing from Rebellion means a wide open net for Evo. And despite that one being a bit of a gift towards Evo, yeah. you absolutely take it. Little turtle goal special. Little Isaac Gap special. Justin kicks it away. Arsenal still fighting for possession. Hearth gives it right back. Dignitas now feeling much more comfortable in their counterattacks. Seems like maybe those last two goals in game two have sparked something interesting. Three minutes, 43 some odd change on the clock. Plenty of time in a tie ball game. Hearth. Oh my, look out. Can turn on a dime. That counterattack can and for Dignitas. They're up to seven shots in the first minute and a half. And despite that, they're Ooh. down a goal as Two Piece puts this one away and Rebellion shows them how it's done. Again, using each other downfield. A great second touch to himself from Parth and Two Piece to finish the job. Rebellion looking strong and converting. He could read that touch from a mile away. And Dignitas knew it. But Two Piece not going to miss the opportunity to just rip a shot from the midfield. Another lead for Shopify. They continue to go on a bit of a roll here after that game two performance. It was a, it was a shutout for, what, four minutes? Finally, Dig were able to get one back. Dig take the opening game. Shopify respond. And now they hold on to the lead 2-1 as Dig try to break out defensively. Evo going to lead the charge. Can't win the challenge. Zanil will be there. Arsenal will double commit with him. A small mistake offensively from Dig, but they're not going to get punished for it. Oh, two piece. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my Lord. The flip reset pass to Justin. This is what we're talking about. Rebellion. Unstoppable in the offense. It doesn't matter who it is. They're pulling off plays like this. Two piece to Justin. It's magic. As soon as I said that, I went down, started writing on my notepad, and was like, they're going to get... Yeah, I, I know they're just about to get punished for it. Why do I even say these things anymore? Why do I try to uncast or curse oh myself? My and there gosh. they go. What a save for two-piece. I don't know why I speak at this point. Two-piece. Flying upfield. The lead for Shopify. And finally, some creativity. I mean, again, it hasn't had to be pretty against Dignitas' defense. It feels like Shopify had been a hot knife through butter for a lot of that game, too. Parth trying to keep the extension going. 1v1 on the ground. Popped up by Arsenal. Zanil, no boost. A hero on the backboard gives it to Evo. Right back into the hands of Parth. Maybe no. We'll circle out. Two piece. We'll try to clear it. Evo. Oh. Dead center. Nobody else is there thanks to the demo. And Arsenal just has to break his rotation and try to help out. Every time Dignitas try to set up downfield, they lose possession and have to fall back defensively. And it's good to see Dignitas attempting to set up there. And they did have the pass. The man was there. But unfortunately, the demo came out, and now the wide open net means that Dignitas is going to get their goal back. This time, just whittling away on the counter attack. A little different, but still working for Dignitas. And they got Justin to commit. They're yep. within one. Dig have to take advantage of the defensive mistakes from Shopify. They finally do. Again, right place, right time. Justin not going to do it again. Arsenal, right off the kickoff. We've seen this in game one. Zanil fighting for two-piece. Two-piece falls off, waits for his chance, and jumps out quickly. Parth waiting. No boost. Hey, what's going on back there? Justin to the midfield. Parth looking for his teammate. Won't happen. Dignitas defense should be able to raggle this possession. And they will. And again, uh, that Dignitas, no. that one, it's off target, but it was open and finding it over the top of the Shopify line. So Rebellion have to be careful not to commit too hard, or at least if they're going to, they have to stay on the ball. It's been a couple times now where Dignitas haven't been able to put it away, but they find it over the top. The streets are saying the G2 have lost 3-1. That is the case. The talk? And that's the case. I don't, I don't know what else happens after that. It's just, okay, that's crazy. Parth, backboard. Nobody else there. Justin. Going to be tough to make this one work. I think of the length of the field to catch up to it. Foot race. Arsenal just drives straight ahead. I like that. Arsenal still around to cause some damage. Justin, careful goal line save. 
struggling as they might be. Shopify not relinquishing the tie here. They'll hold on to their lead. Time running out, and Dignitas needs something. It's been a better game from Dig, but they're still down by one. Out of boost is Arsenal, and nothing in his corner it means Barth has this one off the back wall. Adjusting quick to this means that Dignitas going to stay locked in, and now they got to go the length of the field. Evo trying to keep this one up mm. and above, but it's going to pinch away, and Rebellion put Dignitas on match point. Back-to-back -back wins. Shopify look very, very good. Two-piece at almost 700. Two goals and assists, four shots, five saves. And again, I think maybe in this game specifically, it was the saves that stood out. You're looking at 11 overall for Shopify. Dignitas had much more available to them in their toolkit offensively in this game. Shopify handled the pressure and they're not wasting a lot of time on their counterattacks, Corelli. Like they get upfield, they get one or two looks. Yes, some excellent mechanics out of Justin and two piece to make things possible, but they're not having to spend all of their boost upfield constantly circulating back into the attack. They're getting the looks, the spots they want, capitalizing, and immediately back off the kickoff, applying that pressure again. And again, I think it really comes down to conversion from Rebellion versus Dignitas. And I, I think the solo plays were much better, much more dangerous from Rebellion. I think Dignitas did kind of pick up some scrappy goals, and that's good. But a lot of times when we talk about goals like that are kind of the scrappy ones making taking advantage of the opposition's mistakes or if they leave their last man isolated which was the case in that very last piece of the replay yeah uh those are mistakes coming out from rebellion you don't want to rely on your opponent to make mistakes on their own you want to force them and that's something that i just don't i haven't seen too much of out of dignitas here against rebellion rmc would win worlds if they were there that is the real statement chat has ever said oh man we're speaking make truth. that person vip immediately here we go into game number four Every series today on the mainstream has gone five. Will we get the same result here? That is yet to be decided. But what has been decided is that at the moment, Shopify working on the Spaceman sweep. We'd love to see it. Shout out me, Parth. Off the kickoff. Wins a 50 into the corner. Evo thinking twice. Evo has been very quiet in this series, and that's a floater that Arsenal will have to deal with and does so. Really look towards Dignitas to, again, continually sure up their defense. But it's more about generating those a bit more dangerous chances on offense. And Arsenal, I like the idea of trying to bring this one down and go up with the top. But Rebellion, they've been so scary offensively. Oh, that one's a bit high. Here comes another shot. Nice. And Dignitas trying to keep this one away. Yeah, I like that from Evo. I mean, again, it's just it's the little things, right? Like, if the defense is out in front, especially out of the goal line, forcing Shopify to constantly have to go out and stretch for those touches. Stretch to make the rebounds possible. Wow. I say all this, I'm just yapping. Still in the corner, Justin winning 50s, winning challenges with the help from two piece, the opening goal. And it just seems like it was relentless from Rebellion right off the get go in this first minute. They just held Dignitas in. Dignitas, even on their longer clears, it fell right back into the hands of Rebellion. And they just chip chipped wow. away at the Dignitas defense and they finally Whoa. got it to drop. Big catch from two piece, better challenge by Evo. Kind of hoping that one fell through. It's really interesting how Evo immediately understood the assignment, but Dignitas still fighting tooth and nail to get out of their own side of the field. Evo, the catch. Again, haven't said his name too many times today. He's been kind of quiet offensively. Played some great defense at times, but it has certainly not been a three-man effort for Dignitas like it was last week. Two-piece on your screen. Gives it right back. Justin. Too smart for that. Arsenal just throws it net wide. And unfortunately for Dignitas, I'll we'll have to try again. Still just a one goal lead. It might turn into two. Oh, what a block from Arsenal and Zen. Or excuse me. He has Zen in his name. Okay. Evo. As Evo now trying to make this one scary. He does get by the last man. It gets, I think that got cleared away by a player on Dignitas. And Dignitas, maybe a half chance there. Unfortunately, spoiled by crashing the net. Looks like Zen to me. I don't know. Uh oh. Yeah, I was right, baby. Never doubt me again. Arsenal <laughs> steps up big time to tie this one up. Evo from the corner works through that offensive third, wins the challenge, and Arsenal crashes. Who are you talking to? No one doubted you, okay? I no, am talking was... to myself. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah. Great goal from. Yeah, you want to break that down or you want to? Ar Arsenal. Okay, nice. No, everyone saw it. Okay.
In the corner. Big you saw it. I saw Sinio, it. Really I did. He scored the goal. I mean, what do I mean, you want to say? You're my, you're my, you're my color caster. I don't know. You want to uh, break it down? I don't know. I've done three hours of analysis, okay? Okay. Oh, I'll do it for you. Here we go. Daniil. Oh, little reset. It's so good, Jim. In the corner. Evo going to pick it up. The arsenal. Ready and waiting. The pass. Oh, little oh. chip shot like that. Tie ball game. Looks like Dignitas all of a sudden have just woken up. Uh-oh. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh, no. Well. It was open for a split second there. Parth. At least able to get back in time. But you're right. I mean, Dignitas absolutely looking like a different team, at least momentarily lucid here. Where they are backs against the wall. It's a piece of touch by two piece. I don't think he meant to get that extra touch. But Rebellion put on the back foot for just a moment. Maybe back to business. Justin carrying this one oh, all man. the way to the back wall. Dangerous ball looms over the box. As Parth. I think this is a pass over to Justin. It was. Running out of boost is Arsenal. He's got 12, just a pad to his name. As this one hangs over the net once or more. Rebellion are pulling their midfield back on these counterattacks. They're not allowing the second man to move up. A little bit more patient from the boys in blue. But the way Dignitas has started to respond to the midfield, I have to think that's just a byproduct of how the offense has started to awaken. Two-piece downfield apart. The man back forward. Here comes two-piece. It's perfect downfield. Shopify had been working at this angle all game. And these are the two that you want to be linking up. Parth to two-piece. That's their bread and butter. And Parth with enough pace on that one off the back ball to find his man two-piece. Up a goal for Rebellion. Minute 11 on the clock. Evo, 1v1. 1v1 again. I know it's 1v2. Parth? It, yeah. <laughs> okay, relax. Zidniel. Real one, interesting. Two piece. Kicks it to Parth. Oh my, oh. what a shot. Better save. Defensively, Dignitas have really stepped up in this game. Time running out. 45 seconds left on the clock, and Dignitas need to find themselves knocking on the door. This ball comes out to Parth. Looking for two piece. Is it happening <gasps> again? Is it on his head? Off the crossbar. It was perfectly set up, but Parth was a little too far under it. A highlight spoiled, but still Rebellion hold their lead. That's game right there if they hit that shot. They're getting chased. Evo bumps. Arsenal takes it. Trying to tie this one up. Air bump. Demo maybe. No, Evo going to catch it. Circles back in. Tries to pop it. Oh. Parth immediately punches it downfield. Will it float in? Off the crossbar. Just in to follow. And the series for Shopify Rebellion. That's the dagger. Arsenal did his best, and Dignitas certainly had their chance. Ten shots from Dignitas in this game alone, and it's not enough. They've come up with only a single goal. Rebellion coming out on top. They lost their first game, and then they leaned forward for oh, the rest man. of this series. Crazy double tap by Evo. Parth's going to get the credit. And my goodness... Rebellion looking strong. Well, instantaneously becoming one of the hottest teams to watch here in the Shift Summer League. This is your first time seeing them. GG's. This is the first time, at least in this tournament, they've been playing with a full roster. Last week, it was Memory, the MVP from everybody's perspective. Then they get two-piece back, and it's like nothing happened. This team looked deadly. They look confident. They look clean across the board. Takes nothing away from Dig, but Shopify absolutely outplayed Dignitas in this series, improved why they're one of the best teams in the tournament. Yeah, no, no, no doubt in my mind, it feels like right now, Rebellion looking great. If they could keep up plays like this and, and consistency in their series across the board, they had a little stutter start in the beginning, and maybe you could, you know, if you want to really cope for a second, you could say, hey, they had a pause, they had to sit, sit down for a second, but... For Rebellion, this was high quality through and through after that first game. And that's exactly what you expect out of them coming into, you know, the second half of this Shift Summer League.